Welcome to another series where we will be looking at Vue.js uh, in a more in-depth sense, in a more practical sense, I would say, uh, comprehensive. Now, uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because when I just started out using this framework here, uh, which if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're aware of it, the progressive JavaScript framework, one of the best running frameworks out there now on the web so yeah that's something that I've fallen uh, deeply in love with because it's pretty simple easy to use you get a bit of the JavaScript you get a bit of the HTML you get a bit of the CSS with it and it's very powerful and it's beginner friendly it's easy to use now when I just started using it as I was saying uh, some stuff that I wanted to look at like uh, some videos that I wish that were on YouTube or somewhere I couldn't find those so I decided that I want to make these how-to videos in Vue.js uh, that would show some of the stuff that uh, were common uh, issues to me and I didn't really see them I mean some of these uh, probably could be solved in documentation but I'm, I'm sure that not everyone like myself is really fond of uh, the uh, documentation overall because some of them are confusing I'm not, and I'm not always sure what they mean when you even test them but so I prefer to watch a video of a practical use case and then I can apply it to my project and that is what I'm that, I, that is what I would like to offer uh, in this video here so here we have I'm gonna show two ways in which we can uh, get uh, this thing to work on our machine the first way is the simplest way which you don't need that much but it's more for just uh, testing and working with view like uh, development and stuff like that not in a more production based way then I want to show you how to get the CLI installed and uh, stuff like that so here we're on the view framework here we don't really have that much but the website I should say we don't really have that much here so you can go and check out these links but the one that I want to hit is the get started so we can look at how we can have this installed so the simplest way that we can install this is to use the CDN so what the CDN is and we have the, the development and the production version uh, so what we have what the CDN is is the actual code the, the, that create that makes a Vue.js so this is the actual code if I'm correct that actually Mix up UJS so that's that you can look at that it's a thousand of lines you probably won't even understand anything especially if you're a beginner I do not understand nothing that I'm seeing here or well, some stuff that I'm seeing here but yeah and if you want to look at that you can look at that but this is what we need for, for to get the UJS uh, code to work so let me just go ahead and create put a quick example this video however is mostly based on the theoretical part of installing uh, Vue.js so this is what I want to show how to install Vue.js but in a more theoretical aspect as uh, it, it may vary depending on the operating system that you use but it's not going to be that far off but this I'm going to show you now uh, you can do it on any operating system that you want so I want to copy this code if I haven't already and I have my uh, Atom ID uh, text editor open here. So what I'll be doing, what I'll do is create a file. I'm gonna show you this example here before I even go any further. We're gonna show you this uh, the example here of how you can install this. Uh, create this thing. It's pretty simple. You can, all I have to do is just copy some of these, but I'll explain and have you understand what we're doing here. So I'm going to create a index.html file, you can name it whatever you want, but it probably should be an HTML file or a PHP file, but I think PHP is fine just the same. Uh, so in here we have this file, so what I want to do is to add the CDN, you can see the CDN as a source thing for a script, and I think we can also use, uh, create a main.js file and add this to it and it should work just the same, you may have to tweak it a bit. So here I'm just going to give this a title so we know that what we're looking at so I'm just going to call it view installation uh, CDN 
So that's pretty much all we need to have you here. You can see that it's not really highlighted and that's because I need to close it and open it again. And yeah, now it works. So if I should now go come back over to Vue.js, all I have to do is just copy this code here. And wha what is happening here is that uh, we have this div here, which is where all of our Vue.js code will run. And it has this ID of app uh, here. And you can have whatever name that you want to give this uh, ID, doesn't really matter. But it has to map to the element on the script uh, for the Vue.js to get the Vue.js running. This curly bracket and this message is uh, like an attribute of view, a data attribute where uh, you can put whatever information that you want in there and you just print it out. So this is what we use to like print out UJS uh, dynamic code or whatever. So yeah, so let me just go ahead now and copy this here. And this is the actual script. So you want to come out of the body tag here and just add the script line here and I'm just going to tap this over a bit and uh, oh, let me see something I don't get why oh I think I missed something off here uh, yep. so now we have this here and we have this data attribute here and so we have this message and this is what is going to be printed out in the browser so this is how simple it is to get Vue.js on your machine and this is machine independent or operating system independent whatever you want to add there it's fine you can also add like a number if you want and this you know we're not going to put the quotes around it because it will be a number so that's how simple it is to work with that so if I should just copy the complete path for this and head over to my browser and paste it here you will now see that Vue.js is printed out in that div and what we have here is the message so you can see hello view same thing that's here hello view so that's how simple it is to install Vue.js uh, what, uh, what I would recommend however is that when you're working with, with this but this is not for development it's more for testing and stuff but what I suggest that you do is that you create this in a function because this is what uh, the standard is now and have it return an object so we'll have it some somewhat like this and then you can add your methods and whatever other uh, stuff that you want to add here so you can write different functions or whatever that you want to add here so this is how you can do this as well so this is another way to do it you don't have to but I prefer to do it just like this because it's more production based. This is how I would, this is always normally done in production. So I would suggest that you can see we have the title. Uh, so it, I refresh as you can see and it is still the same. Now let's now go ahead and look at this uh, from a more production base. And uh, you can see that they had this CLI, this new CLI, and that is what we'll need to get uh, a more production based one and I want to look show examples in the videos coming up of how to create uh, these projects so uh, the first thing that we need is Node.js you want to ensure that you have Node.js installed and what we want from Node.js is npm which is Node Package Manager so what I suggest that you do is to download the, the uh, LTS that's a long term support uh, version here we also have the current version but this one because it's new it may have bugs and stuff so it may break your code or whatever so our things may not work all that well so what I suggest what I recommend that you do is and also no recommend that you use the long term support one I've used it for and it break my code so I decided to just work with the recommended uh, version now I am using a Linux machine now and uh, uh, that's why I'm saying that this is more theoretical way because this may be different maybe you're using a Windows machine but it's pretty much the same overall and it's pretty simple I would say uh, so if you want to get yours it will should, should pick it up but if we can also go to downloads and you can see them for the different operating system if you want to install for Windows all you have to do is after you uh, download the MIS uh, file, 
then all you have to do is just right click uh, click on either install or run an uh, administrator and that should install the project for you so that's how simple it is the Mac OS I'm not really sure how that goes I do not have a Mac and uh, but if you're using it there should be some installation videos uh, on the internet all you have to do or on YouTube just search for that and you'll see that the source for uh, the source here it's gonna be pretty much uh, that's uh, gotta be pretty simple all you have to do is untar this file you can just download it and you can either untar it in the uh, file manager or in uh, in your terminal which is gonna be pretty simple just the same all you have to do is just say tar tap v uh, x uh, capital j f and the file name and enter and that should uh, install it so you can download whatever binary that you need for either win uh, or linux or you can download the installer uh, for the windows or mac so that's how simple it is to install it and what we want is this here uh, npm so this is what we want uh, to be able to install the view CLI to have that working on our machine so normally what we do is install it globally uh, but we can also install it uh, uh, in our project so I'm going to show you what you need so let me just pull up my terminal here so once you have installed Node.js, you can go ahead and do this on either uh, whichever operating system. This should be the same. So you can just type Node tap that version. You will see the Node version that you're using. I don't think this this command. I think it's machine independent because I'm pretty sure I've run this on Windows before and it still works just the same. Uh, for the npm, which is which you need as well, so you want to ensure you have that. So once you install, uh. Uh, node once you install node npm should come automatically installed you can see here I want a bit of an upgrade so you can see mine is at 12.8 uh, 12.18.0 12 12 and it's at 12.18.3 and also the node the npm needs to be updated as well so the next thing that we will need now is the actual view CLI so you can just go to uh, cli.vuejs.org and when we head over here it is so simple to install this thing like it's complete it's the most simplest thing that you can possibly think of you can go ahead and read the documentation and stuff like that that's perfectly fine but to get started all you have to do is just run this command here if you're using npm if you're using yarn you can install yarn and use it as well uh, but npm is what I use so this is what I am suggesting they say that yarn is faster but uh, I don't know I like npm it's fine it works fine with me my uh, machine is pretty fast I would say so I don't really have a problem with that uh, so all you have to do is in your terminal just type npm install tap g at view uh, cli slash cli and that's just it the tap g means global so if you want to this is going to install uh, uh, completely on the machine so if you want to install it to a local project then you can also just remove the tag g and that will work now after you would have installed this then you can check this let me just open another terminal window you can check this by just saying uh, view back that version and this should give you the version of view that you're the cli that you're using so the version i'm using is 4.4.4 .4 this may need to upgrade as well i'm not sure where it is so now you will be sure that you have a uh, view installed on your machine and then you can run these commands so you can do run up view create and you give the project a name so when you're creating a project and i'm going to create a video uh, with that and you can also do a view ui and uh, that will also uh, you give you the graphical user interface that you can look at and create your project from. Uh, I prefer to use the terminal because I, pr I like it uh, mostly. So yeah, so that is pretty much how uh, you can create a. Uh, you can install view from a more theoretical look. And the reason why I did this uh, way is because you have different ways of installing it on different machines, and I don't want to go over all of those. But it's pretty much the same overall it's very simple uh, in the in the videos coming up I'll be looking at uh, creating a project 
uh, with the command line and with uh, the view UI. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.